know, what was life like for you growing up? Man, I, I had a, I have a colorful, I like to say a colorful history. Um, I had a really good childhood. I grew up in Cincinnati. Um, I was in a family of six. I, you know, two parents, um, two sisters and an older brother. I had two, an older brother and two younger sisters. Uh, both my parents were doctors. I lived in a nice home in a nice neighborhood. Um, I was given everything that I needed, um, most of what I wanted. Um, and if I didn't get what I wanted from my parents, I tried to get it from my grandparents, you know, like, so, but I had a good life. I, you know, I played in the woods, built forts and went snowboarding or not snowboarding, but skiing and sledding. And, you know, I rode, rode bikes with all the friends in the street until the street lights came on all that good stuff that we used to do back in the, you know, the eighties and nineties growing up. And, and, um, at some point, um, I'll just get brutally honest with this, you know, at, at a point in my life when I started to come around teenage years, I definitely went left of center and I started hanging out with some people that I probably shouldn't be hanging out with. It was older kids and, um, you know, experimented with, you know, smoking pot and stuff like that and um, went a little left of center and uh, I ended up in boarding school. Um, and my parents, you know, they just, it was the smartest choice for them at the time. They were both starting their own medical practices. They had three other kids to take care of. And I'm kind of this wild kid that's skipping school and hanging out with the wrong kids. So they sent me somewhere that they knew I would be safe and I would be taken care of. And, uh, I spent two years there in, um, the middle of nowhere, Alabama, a little town called Trenton, Alabama. It's outside of, um, uh, Huntsville, Alabama. And it was like an outdoor program, man. Like I lived in the woods. I had to build fires and like eat my food over a campfire and then earn to get out of a tent and go into a cabin. And then <laughs> it was like the real deal, man. And uh, it kind of made me grow up a little bit and, and, and find my maturity and find who I was. And um, when I got out of that, I was a sophomore um, in high school they had school year round at this boarding school. So I had tons more credits than all of my, like my senior year, when I started my senior year, I think I only had two class requirements because I had so many extra things that I, I like only had to be at school two hours a day and my senior year. So that was kind of nice. But um, so I went through life. Um, I, I got out of boarding school and um, went back to high school. And it's funny, like, all the kids that, you know, you know, when I was younger, like their parents were like, Oh, don't hang out with that Singerman kid. Like he's bad news. Like I get back to high school and now all those kids that weren't hanging out with me are they're they're getting into the things I was getting into when I was younger. And it was just funny how you see things come full circle. But um, I ended up graduating. Like I had, there's like a hundred and 50 and you know i i graduated top tier in my class you know i i did i did well um i was yeah. a book smart kid i wasn't you know i was terrible in math but like i'm really visual i could open a book an hour before the test and and ace it you know like and that's how i got through high school um but uh i got into art um i you know i joke when it, when in short conversation with people they say you know like how did you get into real estate and i'm like you know i make a joke about it well funny thing is i went to college for art history and came out with a degree in in real estate and um that's really kind of what happened so um i got into uh, i went to college in tennessee after high school um i was doing glass blowing ceramics and and i think i was going to be I was going to do like art something with my life. And sure. uh, I, um, my high school, the girl I dated in high school um, moved down there with me and we ended up getting pregnant my second year of college and I dropped out. And, um, you know, shortly after mine and her um, relationship kind of fizzled and, um, you know, most people know that I have a daughter that is getting ready to turn 18 in November now. So that was a long time ago. And um, our relationship fizzled out. We both moved to Cincinnati and then eventually she followed her family up to Columbus, Ohio. Um, and because her parents had retired and moved to Columbus. Um, and so I followed suit and I moved to Columbus and I uh, went to Col uh, enrolled in Columbus State, and um, this 
led me on this weird journey for the next few years. I started partying a little more than I should again, but I went to college for, uh, I wanted to be a firefighter at first. So I went to Columbus state and after one semester, I realized this was a terrible idea and that was not what I wanted to do. And I quit. And I had, uh, in the meantime, I met somebody in the art industry just down the street from Columbus state that owned a um, glass blowing studio and his name is Jack Pine. He, uh, you know, we've been longtime friends for, you know, over a decade now. Um, I started working in his studio as, you know, sort of a shop hand, you know, fixing furnaces and, and stuff like that, working around the shop. And um, long, full story, you know, comes full circle. I ended up, you know, helping him transition out of downtown Columbus to buying this 10,000 square foot facility in Hocking Hills years later. And, uh, we're good friends now to this date, but um, then I uh, quit his job and went back to school and I wanted to become a probation officer. I got way down the road, was almost, you know, literally um, very close to getting my degree. And I, it was one of those things, I forget what they call it. I think it's uh, the Pell Grant or whatever. Like you have mm. to be full time and you get like a free two or three thousand dollars or something extra yeah. that you doesn't go on your student loans. You just get it for free. So I had to take a full-time class. Um, so I picked real estate principles and practices. Um, and Tom Barrowman at the time was teaching the class. And I mean, like, I just, I, I fell in love. Like I was in the front row of the seat every single day. Um, I come in like every day for class. Like I'm there 20 minutes early. I'm sitting up front. Like, I think I annoyed the heck out of this guy. <laughs> I'm like, 